Collecting amiibo cards is one of the most exciting parts of playing Animal Crossing, at least for those of us that have fallen to the gamble. However, there really aren't too many ways that amiibo cards actually affect the gameplay. I started collecting amiibo cards a few months ago, I've brought my deck to a pretty sizable amount, and they've kind of just been sitting on my desk. Today, I've decided I'm finally going to put a use to those beloved, sought-after, paper-covered microchips. The best thing you can do with amiibo cards is use them to bring a new villager to the island and kick out a villager of your choosing. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to randomly pick a villager from my collection of amiibo cards to move onto my island and give them a home renovation. So here is the deck of amiibo cards that we could potentially be pulling from today. I have quite a bit. I definitely went through a phase and I have slowed down, but recently I've been itching to like get more packs. Um, yeah, so there's a variety of series in here, mostly from series five and series three, but I do have like maybe one pack of series one and then a couple packs of two and four as well. And the Sanrio cards are also in here. So what I'm going to do is shuffle these up and then pick three cards randomly. Obviously, I'm not going to look and then I'm going to pick from those three amiibo cards which I want to move on my island. So I keep all my amiibo cards in this cute little card holder binder thing. And this is not like a licensed Nintendo product. This is just off of Amazon. Um, and I can show you the brand if you want. I'll also put a link to it down below if it's still available. Um, but it just has, you know, card holders and stuff. And originally I was going to just like flip through the pages like randomly and then point to a card. But then I realized that I organize my amiibo cards by villager species. So I keep all my cats in the front because they're like the best species and then as it gets more towards the back, it's more of the villager species that I, that are not my favorite. And then I have my NPCs back here. So I realized that that wouldn't work because I kind of have an idea of where things are, like a rough idea. So I took all of them out so I could shuffle them and do it that way. As I was pulling out the cards, I counted and I have 113 different villagers. So I don't know what you want to do with that information, but that's a lot of different villagers to pull from. Um, I do have cuties. Oh, I have Genji, who is someone I want on my island. And Tosh is also in here. I'll shuffle them face down so I definitely can't see any of the villagers popping up. I'm sorry if it pains you that I'm shuffling it this way. Maybe I should try and be a little more careful. But if you really want a good shuffle, you gotta, you gotta get a little bend in there, you know? Or else this happens. <laughs> So those were two pretty good shuffles. Now, obviously the Sanrio cards have a different background than the regular ones. So you're just gonna have to trust me on this. I'm gonna close my eyes as I pick. Maybe I should just like spread them out and then pick that way. So I'm closing my eyes. I cannot see anything. I'm gonna <laughs> lay out the cards and then I'm just gonna pick one. So these probably are not all in frame. Um, but my eyes are closed and I'm <laughs> nervous, but I'm going to pick a card. Okay. So here is my first one. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully it's in frame. Um, now my second card, maybe over on this side um, is my hand in frame. Sorry if it's not. Um, okay. Here's my second card <laughs> and then my third card. Um, let's go. Oh, there's so many cards over here, too. I'm gonna pick. Hmm. Let's go with this one. Okay, so I have my cards. <laughs> I'm gonna flip through around. My eyes are still closed. And I'm gonna look. Okay, okay, not bad. It definitely could have been worse. So we got Coulson, Ward Jr., and Non. And my first instinct was to move in Ward Jr. because he's a little cutie. But I actually think I'm gonna go with Coulson because, I don't know, he just like looks like a city boy to me. I think he'll bring some personality to the island. I don't know what his type is. 
not his type in a partner, his type as in villager type, but I'm gonna move in Coulson. Finally gonna give Coulson his final item so that he can move in. I honestly feel like I would like him more if he was a lazy. He looks like a lazy, but the fact that he's a smug makes me like irritated. I don't know why. <laughs> so since Coulson is a smug, I'm gonna kick out one of the two smugs I have on my island. So wait. What? Isn't it another one? Oh, nice. All right, so I'm gonna kick out Raymond. <laughs> yes. All right, well, I guess I gotta time travel two more days and then I'll be able to renovate his house, which is the fun part. Yay, Coulson's finally here. Oh, interesting house. Okay. All right. Please already be moved in. Please. I'm begging. I'm begging. No. <laughs> there you are, Kaylee. I've been looking all over for you. It feels like yesterday I was visiting the cab campsite and you asked if I wanted to work here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Uh, that's debatable. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's cute, but maybe he just needs a different shirt, you know? Maybe we should go to Able Sisters and find him a little bit better of a shirt. Sometimes that's all it takes. One more day. <laughs> and then we can finally renovate his house. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is <laughs> This is groovy. It's ugly, but it's groovy. What is this song? Oh my goodness. KK Groove. Oh, wow. Well, that's fitting. Okay. This is quite horrendous, especially this plant just like in the middle of the room. So let's just we're going to we're gonna get rid of all this. I want to look up things about Quilson and see if I could incorporate what I find from my research into his house interior. His request is a recording studio though. Maybe not a whole studio, but we'll try and incorporate some type of music. Okay, so let's deal with these very ugly walls and flooring. Um, let's start with the wall. I kind of want it to match his like color scheme that he has. Uh, he's like green, right? <laughs> okay, so I threw him in here so I can really see like the colors that's happening. I want his room. He looks so tiny in this big room, especially when it's unfurnished. This seems to match him the most. I actually don't really mind that. Does Coulson seem like a plant guy to you? Does he seem the type of guy to have a bunch of plants in his house? I don't really get that from him. He wants a recording studio, so maybe he's not the musician. Maybe he's... Oh, you know what Coulson is? He's the guy that he probably grew up with some wealthy parents, so he has that 
that wealth from his family and he wants to be a music producer and he makes SoundCloud beats. That's exactly the kind of guy that Quilson is. I'm thinking sloppy bed. Definitely his bed is unmade because he probably, his mom probably did it for him growing up so he, you know, he never had to make his own bed. I think this is what we're gonna do. It doesn't really match this color scheme, but uh, you know, should we do gaming desk? Does that look like producery? A rhythm game? He's just playing rhythm games. <laughs> gaming chair, duh. I want to do black and white. Yeah. I don't know if I still like the floors to be H. I think we need to just go with a like a brown floor. I don't know, there's something about the walls too. Maybe, I don't know if it's because of the lighting, but it just looks like a little too much. Okay, so I changed the walls and flooring a little bit. Uh, I think this looks better for now. I don't know, it's hard because I don't have like that many things unlocked in Happy Home Paradise. So maybe before I do the next villager, whoever it is, I should probably play some Happy Home so I could unlock some more stuff. Maybe I'll just put his bedroom separate. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so for his kitchen, probably just the system kitchen, something really basic. Maybe white? Mm, or black? Or brown? Dark wood, natural wood, or white wood? I think dark wood would do well with the flooring. So crafting table can go over here. I just like can't stop myself from changing things. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this person's um, build. I think over here we'll just keep open and then his effects thing that we had, we'll put it in that corner since now I can see that we have a little more room over there. The tabletop record player. We'll make it perfect yellow and green. Okay, there. Put this here and we'll turn this chair so that he can actually sit in it. What instrument do you think Quilson plays? Probably just like guitar, right? Or we could do this <laughs> because this is probably like pretty accurate to have just like a bunch of chords laying around um and i think i said earlier that he's not the instrument playing guy okay so that corner is good i think we should add a rug over there hopefully there's a rug that kind of fits his colors or this whatever color scheme is happening right now um <laughs> this is like so perfect for him to be honest but it's like so massive I wish his like theming was different. I just feel like this whole recording studio doesn't really match my my vision of what Coulson is, but if that's what he wants, that's what he can have. Yellow. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yellow rug. Kitchen is looking a little empty, but I just don't know what to put there. Wait, this rug is actually like perfect for Coulson. <gasps> Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> Kitchen? I don't know. Should we just... Should I... Move it to this side? Let's get a table first. Tables are always harder because there's not as many. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll work. And then maybe with just some, like, colorful chairs. I love a good mix-match moment. Yeah, and it goes with his little rug situation over there i'm not feeling that i want to change it to compact kitchen i think yeah we'll do light green compact kitchen now that his house is getting a little more colorful i just think white is gonna be better or should i just like take out the windows altogether that might be that might be the move Okay, I changed the wall again 
because I don't know, I'm just struggling so hard with this darn wall. Maybe a fan can help fill the space right there. So I'm thinking maybe what might be a good idea instead of having like a whole designated kitchen, we'll do system kitchen and DIY workbench like right next to each other. And maybe it's just like a very general crafting slash cooking area. Uh, I was not expecting Coulson's house to be this hard. <laughs> it's only because he wants a recording studio and I want to be able to give him what he wants. He can live his dreams to the fullest is what I'm trying to say. Open wooden bookshelves. Maybe these are like little Ikea shelves. Maybe he stores stuff up there for when he's crafting. Uh, fan, you're gonna have to go there. And he can still get to his chair. Perfect. Um, this looks so weird to me though. Let's do black and green. That's so tiny. <laughs> and then we'll put a little alarm clock or a lamp. Definitely this alarm clock is like perfect for him. Lime. Light bamboo rug. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, that's actually perfect. I want to put an accent wall. It's like the third time I'm revisiting the walls in this room, but let's see what it looks like on every wall here. So, um... I'm actually thinking that wall might be nice. Or this wall. The studio wall. Yeah, I'm gonna do the studio wall side. Alright, I changed the shelves to this partition. Hopefully that makes it look a little better. I don't know how I feel about this room. <laughs> I'm gonna do the walls and then see, but I'm just like so tired of working on this room. Let's look at these walls real quick. So I just finished the walls and I am liking how it's looking a lot better. I was a little doubtful about this one. I didn't know how it would come through. His requests were a little challenging to me having a recording studio but um, also trying to fit everything else in but I think it turned out quite nice. It's a little different from what I usually do but I don't know. I like it. I really enjoyed using amiibos to move in a villager. And I really want to do this again. So at some point, we'll do another round of this uh, villager hunt slash amiibo drawing and then also renovate their house. There are still villagers on my island that I need to redo their house, the ones that have been here. Because Cherry, the one we did last time, was actually the first villager I've ever renovated for. So Hopefully I get to those at some point, but until then, here is Mr. Coulson's new home. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one.